Well, the lava on Hawaii Island and recent flooding on Kauai has affected many families, but not just the adults. Keiki have been impacted as well. One local nonprofit is trying to help by offering free counseling. Child and Family Service President and CEO Karen Tan joins us now with more. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Good morning. Here. Thanks for having us. Sure. Um, a lot of us have been talking about the damage to property, but there's been emotional damage as well to some people. Yeah, I mean, earlier I heard someone say it's been like a roller coaster, an emotional roller coaster, and it's really so real. Families are really struggling with just the emotional impact of all of it that's been happening in their communities, both on Kauai and on the Big Island. And how can you tell if a friend or a family member, neighbor, even a child might be affected by these events emotionally? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's, there's a whole process of grief that goes through with the loss of kind of the status quo of who we are, where we live how we deal with things every day. I think in particular for children, you want to be paying attention to just their behavior. Are they acting normal? Are they playing normal? Or are they looking at, you know, um, maybe withdrawing? Are they having nightmares at night where they're waking up? Are they um, not talking as much? Or are, are they even like wetting the bed where they never used to wet the oh. bed before? So really paying attention to that. Any kind of change. Yes. But also, can your child not go through any change at all and still be impacted? Should you initiate conversation yes. and ask them straight out, how are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I think that's really important. And even for kids that aren't living in those two areas, they're mm -hmm. hearing the news, mm -hmm. they know something's happening, making sure they feel safe, asking them, do they feel safe? Mm -hmm. And helping them that way, because I think it's important that they're able to talk through what they're hearing and learning and experiencing. That is a good point, because living in Hawaii with hurricane season coming up and, you know, you hear about the, the earthquake and the lava in the news a lot, yeah. they might not understand what's going on. It might be frightened. Yeah, so that's a good point. Exactly. So what kind of resources are available through Child and Family Service? Well, the good thing is, is that the communities are just really rallying, especially um, on the Big Island in Kauai. And so we're um, at the table with everyone seeing where the needs are. And we specifically have counseling that's available in, in Kauai mm -hmm. um, through a Hawaii Community Foundation grant. And we're providing free counseling for the community there. And then on the Big Island, um, First Hawaiian Bank and a private donor has given us money to be able to provide tangible needs as well as counseling as well. All right, and there's that parent line number on the screen. It's 1-800-816-1222, and that's to help parents learn ways to manage about the emotions and storing them. Yes, and they can also give the most updated information on where to go to for the assistance that's being available because it's very mobile right now mm -hmm. as we sit, kind of figure out where it's going to be, so we want to make sure that the right information is given. And what do you want to tell family members and residents who have been affected both on Kauai, Oahu, also Hawaii Island? Yeah, I think just really that we're all in this together. We very, the, the Ohana of Hawaii is very supportive and our organization and others are here to provide whatever we can to support them. Okay, well, Karen Tan, thank you so much for stopping by with Child and Family Service. Something that many of us don't really always think about uh, firsthand or on top of mind is the emotional damage that yes. this type of incidents can do. So thank you for being here. Thank you.